So let's say you lose your iPhone. You can use something called Lost Mode to help you get your iPhone back. But first you have to set things up correctly. You should already have this set up but you should check right now and make sure this is always on. On your iPhone go into Settings then go into your Apple ID settings which is your ID there at the top. Then into iCloud. Then look for Find My iPhone. Make sure that's on. That's all you need to do in advance. Once that's set then you're ready to use this should you lose your iPhone. Now let's say your iPhone is lost. You're going to go on your Mac to iCloud.com in the browser. So you can do this on any computer. So you don't have to have your computer with you as long as you can get access to one. So go to iCloud.com, log in, and then go to Find iPhone. Now it's going to show you on a map all devices registered to your Apple ID if it can find them. Let's center in on just the one that we're talking about here. In this case it's an iPhone 7 Plus. Now look at the upper right hand corner here and you'll find this little control panel for the iPhone 7 Plus. You can do a bunch of different things. One thing is you can play a sound. So this will play a sound on the phone. Now this is useful if you lost your iPhone but you know it's around. It's somewhere in the house or you know it's, it's nearby at work. You can have it play this sound. And you get that alert there on the screen. You can also go to the extreme measure of erase iPhone. This is if you know it's fallen into somebody's hands where you don't want it. You just want it erased. But lost mode is a little more interesting. Here you can put a number. So I'm going to put just a fake number now. I'm going to hit next. And then I can put a message. I can type anything I want. And put it right there. And then I hit done. And it's going to put the iPhone into lost mode. Now look at what happens on the screen. So it says lost iPhone. This iPhone has been lost. And it's got that phone number on there. So this could really help out if it's a case where uh, somebody finds your iPhone and wants to help out and wants to actually get the phone back to you. Notice that here on the screen it said it's unable to suspend cards. That's because uh, this is not a main iPhone I'm using. But typically if you had Apple Pay cards set up on this then it would go ahead and suspend those. So you get some protection there for things like that. It's also important to note that this locks the iPhone. Now of course it's probably going to automatically lock anyway. You've got a passcode set, right? So it should be locked by the time somebody finds a lost iPhone. But if for some reason you haven't locked your iPhone or you have your settings set up so it's not going to lock with a passcode, doing lost mode will lock it. And that's how you do it. Now I can go and click Lost Mode and I can stop Lost Mode. See, I'm getting email updates on the changes of location. That's another thing you're going to get about this phone. That's really cool. And I can go and stop Lost Mode because I say found the phone. And, uh, and then my phone can return to normal operation. I will have to re-enter the Apple Pay information or at least reauthorize it. But other than that all my information is still there. So, uh, so this really helps. Uh, if you've lost your iPhone it's a great piece of technology to be able to use as long as you remember to make sure that Find My iPhone is turned on on your iPhone.